Hello everyone, welcome back to The Road to Rank 1. Today I've got a LeBlanc game for you, and I think I played LeBlanc vs. Keanu in my last LeBlanc game. I really like LeBlanc vs. Keanu. Um, I think this guy might be talking to me, I'm friends with him a little bit. Um, now I'll quickly give you guys an update, because it has been a long time since I did Road to Rank 1. Um, so I have three accounts in charge at the moment. These two, Deadman Shock and Big Clock Shock. Those ones I played mainly on stream, so it was on twitch.tv slash shocklol. Um, and then this account, this one's I think rank 10 or rank 9 or something at the moment. This one I played just off stream. So I've been doing pretty well. <laughs> no voice, no win. Oh. Anyway, hopefully my jungler comes back. I do like this matchup though. I think LeBlanc is quite good into Kiana. And last time when I recorded this uh, matchup, which was, I want to say more than a month ago, first strike LeBlanc hadn't really caught on yet. And uh, turns out it's really good, especially for his melee champs. So I've been liking it a lot. And I've actually done a little bit of cooking this game. Because I swapped out my DMAT for Biscuits and I swapped my Mana Flow to Scorch. That's hopefully that I can pressure the lane a little bit more um, and still not have mana problems. But we'll see how we go because that's the first time I've tried that. I'm just going to guard the invade here just in case Kiana walks up and wards level 1. It's common to do this if you're losing prior level 1. So we'll... Okay, she's not warding. She might lay ward it but there's not much we can do about that then. Um, so I'm probably just going to start Q. That's good with... Um, First strike, especially against melees, you can just proc your mana flow. Oh wait, I don't have that. Proc my Scorch, um, and then see where we go from there. Now where is this guy? Because, oh there he is. Did he late ward? He might have. He left it pretty late. He might have also just been sitting in the bush. So basically what I'll do is I'll just try and look for things. Um, level 1 here. I think they're Graves that are Raptors. I didn't actually check what happened bot lane. Oh wow, what did happen bot lane? I think Graves that are Raptors though. So anyway, we're just going to look for a 3 wave crash of possible and try and zone him off as many creeps as we can i think this matchup i mean the only real thing to be careful of is at level six just getting randomly one shot i think because they have double ad mid jungle i'll probably buy a cloth armor like on my first base or something if it's convenient i won't like hint my base for it but i might buy it okay so this looks like it's going to be a really good three wave crash and um, i'll just start spam ordering the wave now to make sure it goes under the tower yeah, I got my first strike there. Um, I didn't want to W onto him there, and I probably don't want to W onto him. I'm just going to continue to push. Just want this wave to go under tower as quickly as I can. Now, normally when you're 3-wave crashing, you want to ward before you harass your opponent under tower, but it's grave, so you probably won't gank, and also it looks like he's ganking bot. So we can delay our ward timing and just try and punish this guy as much as possible. It's pretty unlikely that we can actually get like a really good trade. Maybe we can get a little... Um, but yeah, we're just trying to deny as much CS as we can. Because he's 3 and my W is down, he might jump on me. So I'm just going to play it a little safe. But I know that I'm already like insanely far ahead, right? Like, to be honest, mid is pretty GG'd. I'm just going to ward in case Graves crosses. He, he should reset the top side, but I'll just ward in case he tries to seize me. Um, I'm going to let this wave come back to me. And that's going to keep me safe from um, kind of like running me down the lane or whatever. And it also allows me to set up ganks, which is obviously really, really good on the box. Yeah, we'll just let this come to me, and it should be fine. Like I said, we're already, like, really far ahead. Like, we're basically guaranteed to base with the uh, item advantage now, which feels really, really good. That's one of the most important things in early game, is just basing with more gold than your opponent. I'm going to try bait him. Okay, he went early. I guess he wants to cross. Yeah. thought he was looking for a gank, but he just wants to cross. Now, this could be awkward, because I don't have priors, so they might try and fight this. Hmm. This wave's pushing to me. I need to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to ward this so that if Kiana does leave, I see it very early. Because my wave is frozen, I can actually follow this knowing that she's going to lose more than I lose. So I'm just going to chase this. At least, like, lightly chase this. Um, okay. She takes a lot of damage for that. I don't know about going for more. Let me just leave that. But either way, this is still really good, right? Because the entire time my wave is frozen. In fact, I can probably help him with blue knowing that, like, Kiana is still losing more. The only thing I need to make sure of is that she doesn't crash this wave. If she's able to crash, she might cheese me again. Uh, yeah, if she crashed the wave, then it would have been bad. But this is a really, really good lane state for me. I want to thin it out so that it doesn't quite crash. And then I just want to make sure that I get confirmation on her recalling. This might actually be too big to thin out. If she uses cooldowns, though, I can maybe all in her. Okay, I'm just going to try zone as much as I can. I think I commit a cooldown to thinning this. And that's going to allow me to keep it frozen. Yeah, I think that was the right choice there. This is pretty good. Not sure what's going on, but a lot of old chatter going on. Uh, but anyway, let's keep it here. So again, if she uses cooldowns, I'll probably look for a WEQ. I can probably kill her, like, if she uses too much. Okay, this is good by their support. Comes mid to help break the freeze. The thing is, like, I mean, it's 
it's definitely like good for them right like it's what they should do but also it does mean that they share xp which puts kiana even further behind on like the hitting six thing um and either way like she's still basing at a deficit so here i have an option i could base tp immediately but i think instead i'm gonna try push and save my tp i think that's probably the play it does take me a long time to push this cannon wave though that's like the biggest downside but it's probably worth it like ultimately i'm gonna base with more gold than if i just immediately base dp and i think the tempo doesn't matter too much here because kiana probably won't roam until she's six but you can see i mean we're up 30 cs in our first base which is i mean that's an amazing start to be honest now, i could go cloth armor here i think um what else can... no i think i'll do this so this is it's greedy it's definitely greedy right like going for chapter dark seal like no boots no sword shoes um and no cloth armor no pink and none of that i'm kind of thinking i can get away with it because diana didn't get like any spectacular items right like if she'd have more gold i think maybe i'd just go like Zork's cloth refillable or something now diana has one window to roam bot i'll just ping it i'm just gonna ping it a lot i really don't want them to die because if they don't die on this window then i will probably like just shit on kiana but I have a feeling they're going to find a way to die on this window. Like, they're trading bot, which means Kiana is probably there. So all I can do here is really, like, push as fast as I can. And hopefully if Kiana is there, that uh, I can take a flight mid or something. I think Kiana is there. Do you know? Hmm, I don't know where she went then. Do you might be trying to cheese me in one of the side bushes? Like, thinking that I'm going to... I have actually no idea where she went. Okay, she recalled for Dirk. Interesting. Yeah, I think that was a mistake by her. I think she should have stayed on the map and uh, tried to opportunistically make a play on bot. Anyway, I get deep vision. Uh, that's super, super important because I think that was a window where Kiana could have like flipped the game around if she had roamed there. Um, and I think if she'd recalled like in bot river, she probably would have seen the opportunity. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I didn't see it from her perspective, but that, that's kind of my feeling. Okay, good, nice trade. Might get another one. As long as I stay away from walls, there should be nothing she can do to me. That's good. That's going to force her to reset. And she really, really doesn't want to reset. Um, because she just spent her gold, right? Damn, that's fine. <laughs> uh, she might get a kill top here, but there's nothing we can do about that. Best thing we can do is just shove this and try punish. Oh, that's annoying. Um, yeah, nothing we can do about that. We'll just keep pushing. Now, she does have gold now, so she could reset. But she also... Ooh, actually, I bet she didn't ult. So I still have to be a little careful. I was going to say, maybe I could QW on her, but I think QWing her under tower when she has ult is probably not the play. I love getting fucked. <laughs> what? Um, okay, that's good. I forced their support to stay. Anyway, I'm just going to keep trying waste Rel's time. Like, there's nothing for me really to do, but this means that Ziggs is going to die probably. So if we can just keep Rel here and... Waste a lot of their time, that's pretty good. I might even be able to cancel this base again. And there, Ziggs died like I thought. So that was good, like we, we forced... Sounds gay, but I have a chance. <laughs> okay, whatever, bro. Um, We're going to keep shoving this wave. Ooh, she cancelled. Okay, so because she cancelled reset, I'm actually going to not shove this wave. And I'm going to look to prep this back wave to dash onto her. If I hit a chain here, she's almost certainly dead. Okay, Graves comes mid to break the freeze again. It's kind of annoying, like, how much help she's getting, but also, like, you kind of just gotta, like, trust, I guess, that your team is getting something off this. Sometimes they're not, admittedly, and that pisses me off in solo queue, but to be honest, this team, or this game, my team's done fairly well. Now, Dawnless is over here. Ooh. Okay. I was gonna try to lean her to him and then start it off with a chain, but didn't quite get it. Maybe I can bait her here. Maybe okay, hit one chain. I maybe could have killed there if I were really, really crazy, but I think it was very risky. Um, he's going to try ult me on the wall here. I think I still get the plate, though. Might do a quick trade. Okay, nice. Turns out it's just a kill, not a trade. Uh, it feels pretty good. So we get the kill there. We're going to be able to deny another wave, which feels really good. And I do have Ludens in base, which is... I'm not actually sure how I feel about that, because I kind of wanted to buy boots here. And a cloth armor. Actually, no, no, no. This is simple. I base, I buy Ludens, I buy boots, and then I don't need cloth armor because I'm so far ahead. But I still want to buy cloth armor next, or at some point, because they do have uh, this double Lethardi mid-jungle. So the earlier I can get Lethardi, the, or the armor, the better. It's been kind of awkward, I guess. The, the recalls have always meant that I haven't been able to get a cloth armor or whatever, but the recalls have also been like that because i'm super fed right and can buy other items so it'll be fine good tp top and grab myself a couple kills i almost did it maybe i should have 
Maybe I still do it. Is there a ward? Yeah, there is a ward. I'm not sure. I do want to TP top, and maybe I should have there. It looked like I probably could have. I think I should. But anyway, let's keep watching top. I if, if graves come stop again, I will TP do it, especially if they overextend. Yeah, this looks good, I think. I'm probably just one shot graves. Whose TP is that? Oh, it's thing. Hmm. Oh, nice fly. Hmm, okay. I think I have to go into this bush. Oh, I missed the thing. <laughs> well, I didn't play it that well, but I did get out, which is the most important thing. I think there I should have probably... Oh, let's get this one. Nice. Um, what should I have done there? I think I probably should have... I probably should have used... What did I use? I can't actually remember. I think I went for a QR combo, and I think I should have done double dash. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at it. I'm sure there's a way to play that better. Um, I don't think it should have been that close. I think it... In my head, it should have been double dash, just from what I remember, but I'd have to go and watch it. I just realized this guy's 0-5, <laughs> and we only have six deaths. That's rough. Um, okay, I'll probably run top here, because this guy's bot, so that should be okay. I think laning against the one, I mean, I definitely can't kill this guy, but at the same time, I can farm him for uh, first strike, which is kind of nice. Also, look at the jungle diff. Like, the jungle is really far ahead, and part of that is because... Like, I wasted a lot of Graves time mid. Obviously not all of it, right? It was me. I can't take credit for everything, although I'd like to. So you can get a chain here. Oh, what? This guy's broken. Didn't get that much gold off him. I thought I was going to get a nice double chain into loads of money, but it didn't happen. All right, shove this wave. Uh, I think I keep going top. I don't have TP for drag, but I'm kind of assuming my team can fight it without me. So I'll just keep pushing top. I mean, there really isn't much for me to do. Yeah, I think shoving is fine be fine okay uh there's this plate's pretty low someone is probably here yeah someone. so i probably want to just ignore him actually i'm just gonna w past him hmm. i thought he might do that but i was kind of hoping that his uh thing would have run out but apparently it doesn't i thought his q would have ran out but it didn't apparently that that last lasts forever so that was weird oh well doesn't really matter now i'm just gonna quickly w down here and grab a ward he might quickly go on me yeah i needed to go back before he went on the wall against me so right now my jungler is doing drag, so my goal top side is just not to die. It's pretty unlikely that they'll dive me. Like I think diving a LeBlanc when you have no ult on a Warren as well, pretty impossible. Hmm. But at the same time, like that's their only play. They have to like take out top side and dive top. So my goal right now is just to just not die. Um, and what I'll probably do as well is like if too many people come up here, I'll just give the tower. I shouldn't have to in my head. I think he's still in that bush, by the way. Yeah. Okay. This this guy's. I'll try and kill him here. He might be going to red. Mm, I don't know if I can farm that wave. Like maybe kill him on red though. If he's on it. No, he's not on it. I think I can farm the wave. Mm. I think killing an orn takes too long. Probably not even worth it. Uh, but anyway, we'll keep shoving. And if I can, I might take that honey fruit in the river. Or I could reset and buy sword shoes. Like that's pretty nice too. I have options. Oh my god, I just missed so many creeps. This guy is so tanky. I think it's a complete waste of time. Like, he doesn't have any MR, but it, it doesn't even matter. He's just got... How much health does he have? 3,000. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. Okay, so what can I do here? I mean, maybe I can make a play. I think I honestly just shove one more wave and reset. I, I think that's playing. What's going on over here? A lot of moves happening on the map, but nothing actually happening. Okay, so shove this. Did he reset? He didn't? Okay, he... Or, sorry, he stayed. I'm just going to reset, and I'm going to go for Sorks. This... Oh, yeah, it's not water we have, I think. So I'll go for Sorks, and then... What do I buy? I think I buy Sork. And then the problem is I have a lot of gold left over. That doesn't feel right. Um, I can't really fix this, can I? And I guess not. It's a bit of an awkward base. I don't really have anything else to buy. So I walk out with 700 gold. It should be okay because I can base TP to kind of fix it at some point. But that normally feels pretty awkward. That's probably the worst thing about buying defensive items is that their build paths are awful. But the items themselves are pretty good. Like Zonya's this game, for example, is very, very good. Like it's even good against Zig because uh, of his ulti. Now I could TP ball. Yeah, I think I do. It should be kills. My main focus here should be graves. So I'll, I'll just look at that guy first. Okay, he looks pretty dead. Okay. Uh, ooh, I wasted a chain there, but it shouldn't matter. Okay. Well, that's probably GG, right? I don't think there's really much else to it. 
We can maybe flash on this guy. Okay, they surrendered. Well, nice 15 minute GG. Welcome back everybody to the road to rank one. We'll take a quick look at the post game damage, but I don't think it's going to tell us much. Okay, so we get a plus 19. We're at 877 LP. The damage, I mean, it's pretty early in the game. Doesn't mean a whole lot, but we did get two honors, importantly. So uh, yeah, happy with that game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the road to rank one being back. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.